So when we talk about systems, we simply talk about objects or things of interest, things that we're studying. And everything outside a system is called a surrounding. Now when we talk about entropy, we represent entropy with the letter S and changes in entropy with delta S. So according to the conservation of energy, delta S or the change in entropy of the system plus the change in entropy of the surrounding will give you the change in entropy of the universe. Okay? Now remember, the universe is an isolated system and according to the second law of thermodynamics, an isolated system cannot decrease in entropy. That is, the entropy must either remain the same or it might increase. Okay? So, we can represent this formula in another way. Basically the same thing except now we have this zero here. Greater than or equal to zero. Okay? So the total entropy of the universe can never decrease. It must either remain the same or it must increase. Okay? What, the, uh, what this also says is that the entropy of the system can decrease as long as there is a greater or equal increase in the entropy of the surrounding. Suppose that this decreases by 10. So this is negative 10. If this is 10, if, this, if there's an increase in the universe by 10, then you get negative 10 plus 10 will give you 0. So that works. If this decreases by negative 10, and this increases by, say, 11, then negative 10 plus 11 will give you 1, also positive. So that works. But if we get negative 10, so the system decreases in entropy by negative 10, but the universe increases only by 9, then we get negative 10 plus 9 will give you negative 1, a negative number, a violation of the second law of thermodynamics. And this basically tells us that if, if the entropy of the system decreases, then the entropy of the surroundings must increase by the same amount or greater. You can never increase by less. Okay? Now look, let's look at the, uh, these isolated systems. Okay? We're going to define entropy in a different way now, a third way. Now in this system, we have six molecules on this side and two molecules on this side. Okay? So, we have more molecules here than here. So, according to the probability theory of entropy, or the probability definition of entropy, what will happen? Well, two of these will want to go into here. That situation will be more probable. So we want to even out. We want our system to be even. We want four molecules here and four mo uh, molecules here. Okay? So according to the probability definition of entropy, this is more likely, more probable. So another way to define entropy would be as follows. Entropy is nature's way to spread energy evenly throughout a system. Okay? So if you have a reaction where the reactants have much more molecules than the products, then the equation or the reaction will tend to go right because there are less molecules on the product side than the reactant side. The last thing that we should talk about when we talk about entropy is the third law of thermodynamics. But before we get into that, let's define entropy mathematically using a formula. The formula for entropy is as follows. Change in entropy is equal to change in heat over temperature and it has the unit joules per Kelvin. Now what the third law does is it assigns a zero entropy value to all elements that are at zero Kelvin. But remember, Kelvin or zero Kelvin is unattainable and let's see why. Well this formula says that if temperature in fact was zero, the zero here would be in the denominator and that's impossible mathematically because anything over zero is undefined. Okay? Now, last two things that we should mention is that entropy is an extensive property. And what that basically means that if 
the system grows in size, entropy increases. So, if the system grows in volume, the entropy increases because there is more room for the molecules to move around. If temperature increases, the kinetic energy of the molecules increase. The molecules move around more violently, quicker and faster, and so the entropy increases. If the number of moles increases, the number of particles increases, there are more particles, so the entropy increases as well. The last thing we should mention is that entropy is a state function. And what that basically means is that the change in entropy of the forward reaction is equal to the negative of the reverse reaction. And what that means is as follows. If we look at the reaction here, A plus B forms C. We go from two molecules to one molecule, so entropy decreases. The reverse reaction would mean that we go from C to A plus B. So we go from C, one molecule, to two molecules. So according to uh, this, because entropy is a state function, the reverse reaction is the negative of the forward reaction. So negative times negative 10, or negative 1 times negative 10, is positive 10.